Colton. I can't believe this day is finally here. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I have waited what feels like forever to marry you. Only because I've known I would for three years now. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that Lindsay and Colton are here today to get married and that they are perfect for each other. But how did we end up here today? How did these two wonderful people not only end up meeting, but also end up falling in love and choosing to spend the rest of their lives together? This love story begins the way so many great ones do, slowly. Lindsay and Colton went to rival high schools and knew each other through mutual friends. Lindsay doesn't recall talking to Colton much during high school, but always knowing who he was. <laughs> Finally, in the summer of 2019, they ran into each other at the lake and actually talked. They spoke of getting together again, but Colton lived in Little Rock and it just didn't happen. Oh, wow. Colton had moved back to Missouri and was flooding his Instagram with his new chocolate lab puppy. Lindsay's parents had a black lab puppy that appeared to be about the same age as Colton's. So Lindsay chose to use the puppy as a prop and propose a doggy date with Colton and his puppy. That first day, a walk with the dogs at Springfield Lake Park finally happened in September of 2020. Lindsay hadn't known much about Colton all those years prior to this date, but she knew there was something special about him. Once she got to know him better, she quickly realized that he is the kindest person to everyone he meets and would do anything for anyone. He was very calm and so easy to be around. Lindsay thought Colton may well be too good to be true. Since the moment you decided you wanted to uh, see my puppy, Charlie, <laughs> I knew I had a chance because Charlie is a sweet talker and would tell you to date her daddy. God perfectly placed us together at the most perfect time, even though for a minute there I tried to fight it. I thought for a while that you were too good to be true, and I was constantly waiting for the shoe to drop, but it never did, and I know and trust it never will. You have been the light in my life that I've always needed. No one in this world makes me happier and makes me laugh as hard as you do. You are the most caring, most beautiful woman and loving person with the biggest heart. I'm the luckiest person alive to be standing with you today and to be facing life with you every day. My worst day on this earth will always be okay because you're in it. There's nothing in this life that we can't handle as long as we're together. All of the ways that you protect and provide me do not provide for me do not go unnoticed and I'm forever grateful that I have someone who feels like a home to me. Every day I fall more and more in love with you. I love where our lives are heading, we have uh, decided, or we have the brightest futures, and I love how we are together step by step in our walk with God. We've accomplished so much as a couple already, but I can't wait to see where the journey of officially becoming one takes us. You're my heart and my soul, my best friend, and everything I could have ever dreamt of in this life. I am so proud to be your wife. I will love you forever, Lindsay Fan. Lindsay, I am so excited for our future, and to see how much more we grow together every day. You are the sunshine in my life and the thing that makes my world go around. I love you so, so much. So let's do this dang thing and get married. May you be gentle caregiver of the hearts you now hold and the vows you have made here today. May your home be filled with adventure, joy, and love. And through this love, may you come to know God more fully. And now with great joy in front of your closest friends and family, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Colton, you may kiss your very beautiful bride. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand with me as I introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Fans.
might wonder why a six foot three guy weighing 250 pounds is wearing a snappy pair of size 14 ruby red slippers tonight. Uh, this is one of my favorite memories of Lindsay when she was a little girl. It seemed like every year she had to be Dorothy from Wizard of Oz uh, movie for Halloween. It was her favorite movie growing up and every year we had to search for a new pair of Ruby Red shoes because she would have completely wore her pair out the year before. So when I saw these in Kansas City a few months ago, it reminded me of Lindsay. Lindsay surprised Sherry and I a few years ago when she asked <clears throat> if she could bring a young man over to our neighborhood Halloween get together. So the first time Colton met Sherry and I, Sherry was dressed as a witch and I was in full camo with a vest carrying two guns, wearing a Trump mask. <laughs> we were both afraid that we ran them off, ran Colton off, but uh, the past two years, uh, we have been very impressed of how caring and genuine Colton is. And Colton, I want to thank you for making uh, her the most happy girl in the world, and not just today, but every day. I couldn't wait for Colton to find the one, and I'm so happy it's Lindsay. If anyone needs to know how to be a true gentleman, talk to Colton. He is the sweetest and most caring person, not only when it comes to Lindsay, but literally anyone he meets. So Colton and Lindsay, I wish nothing but the absolute best for you. I believe God created you specifically, specifically for each other. The way you balance each other out and complement each other is something I truly admire. I love you both so, so much. I know you guys are going to be great parents someday. If you guys know their dogs, you guys would understand. I'm pretty sure their dogs have more toys than my kids do. Seriously though, guys, Colton and Lindsay, I love you guys. I'm so happy for you guys. Congratulations. Like every best friend does, I've been planning what I'd want to say in this speech since before Ke Colton even proposed. But how do you sum up a person who has single-handedly handled your mental stability for the last decade and a half? I'm sure everyone here can agree that seeing firsthand how in love with each other you both are is a feeling we all aspire for in our own lives. I read a quote recently that I think embodies Colton and Lindsay's relationship and now marriage perfectly. It says, love is that condition in which, happiness of, in which the happiness of another person is essential to your own. Your self selflessness towards one another is truly the most beautiful thing. Lindsay, you're one of the realest, most strong people. Dang it. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> My God. Uh, one second. Mm. <laughs> Lindsay, you're one of the realest, most strong people I know, and you've been true to yourself the entire 10 years I've known you. Colton, you're one of the most kind, caring, and selfless guys I've ever known. And that also hasn't wavered in the 15 years that I've known you. One second. <laughs> As someone lucky enough to know you both for so long and grow up with you guys, it's been a crazy experience. And the only way I can describe it is having front row seats to like a 10 year long love movie where two lives mesh and true love forms and the foundation of what will no doubt be a strong marriage is built. I love and respect you both more than I could explain in this speech. And I wish you and your little family all the happiness in the world. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Fan.